Hey guys, this is Shane here from Echo Soundworks, and in this video we'll be checking out some of the new features that was just dropped in the latest update of Massive X. So we're now in version 1.10, and Native Instruments decided to address some of the biggest gripes that a lot of producers, a lot of artists had back when they released the first version in June. So we're quickly going to run through those new features and show you how to use them in your music. So let's get started. All right, so first, let's jump up to the top left-hand side of Massive and click on the Massive logo. If you do that, you'll see you'll be able to see your version type. So make sure that you're at version 1.10, otherwise you won't see these features. And sometimes I've had some issues with native access when I've installed updates to Contact, and it wasn't necessarily a native instrument's fault. I think it was just my internet timed out. So if you are missing these features, just double-check that real quick. You might need to do another install. All right, so first things first. We now have access to five other... GUIs or skins or themes as they're called in Massive X. So that gives us a total of six. Now they're not six unique ones, they're just kind of three main ones and then some variations. So what we're looking at here, this is the default skin that came out with the first version back in June. We now have the, 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 the dark theme or skin and I really like this one. It's super clean to look at, especially in a, it actually works oddly well in a dimly lit studio. I don't, I don't know why, usually dark skins don't, but this, this is super great. Then we have the uh, light skin. I'm not personally a fan. I think it's a little bit too bright, but um, yeah, if I turn my brightness down my screen, I can deal with it. But yeah, it's there if you guys like that really bright white look. Then we have flat versions of all of those, which I like. So we have the flat default, which is my personal favorite. We have the flat dark, which I also really like. And we have the flat light, which again, a little bit too bright for me personally. All right, so I'll just keep it on the flat dark for the rest of this video. So another big update was something that a lot of people, myself included, were pretty, uh, I, uh, lack of better words, I was befuddled. I was like, how did you guys not do this? Um, the, the envelopes weren't even vaguely dynamic. They didn't even update. It was just like a static picture of an envelope. And the crazy thing to me, and I made this point back in my video in June, I don't know if you guys saw it, but these are some advanced envelopes in terms of how much control you have over the over the shape, right? A basic synth envelope is typically just attack, decay, sustain, release. We have delay, shape, and peak for our attack. We have a hold. We have a shape and sustain for the decay, a hold, a release, right? So a lot of different things, and it would have been really nice to be able to see what each of those things were doing so we could actually get some visual feedback as well as you know listening to what's happening. So with this update, now if you move any of these knobs, it will update the shape down below. So interestingly enough, if we, let's check out the decay. If I turn my decay down, turn my sustain down, right? Now we have a shape control. So this kind of curves the shape, right? So that's, that's pretty cool. Now we can actually see exactly what's happening. And then here's our hold before our release, right? So tons of control. Nice to be able to see it, but I still left a little disappointed because I cannot click into the actual shape, right? And know that uh, if I touch this, I can curve it, right? I can basically do my shape control, right? And what's weird to me about that is the first version of Massive really pioneered that style of envelopes in synths. I remember when I got Massive, I actually ordered it off of eBay. I was in college and I remember installing it being like, what the hell is this thing? Um, and my only other third party synth at that time, I think was Rob Papp and Blue and uh, Silent. And so I went to these envelopes and I was just like, oh my God, you can actually click here, you know, to change your envelope shape, or you can click here, you know, and do it that way. What's interesting is that they went away from that completely with the first version and they still haven't, you know, given us control in the actual shape itself because that's more commonplace in synths now, right? Think like silent, you can't even see the envelope. It's nice, I think, to be able to see it on an actual synth because you have less of a connection to the synth than you do with like a hardware. So it's nice to be able to kind of see what's going on while you're moving controls. But those are the two kind of main updates to the actual synth. We also have a lot of other presets and um, I'll go through some of those presets here. And some of them are actually really nice. And you guys know, if you guys know anything about us, we are a professional sound design company. We make synths, sample libraries, contact instruments. So I'm I'm just saying these are pretty cool presets. There's a couple that I really like, so I'm gonna play some for you to end the video.
like that one. I kind of got a Telecaster vibe, guitar vibe. Let's play that one a little bit higher. Right, kind of a synthesized balafon type sound. a nice uh, bell meets kind of a road sound for me. really like that one. So there's a lot of cool stuff here. I really liked uh, Ghost Boys, I think it was. Really nice ambient pad. All right, so this one's pretty, pretty impressive. emulation of a real key sound. Woozle was interesting as well. All right, guys, that's going to sum up the video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you know the drill. Please do that. The support does mean a lot. And if you guys do subscribe, smash that notification bell so you get an update when, you, when we release a new video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.